Hi gang, this is Dr. J with New Leaf Chiropractic and Family Wellness. I'll talk to you a little bit today about headaches. One of the most common symptoms that we see on a regular basis, in addition to neck pain and back pain, is headaches. Um, everybody knows chiropractic helps with neck pain, back pain, and headaches, and we do a lot, lot, lot more. But sometimes headaches aren't actually a chiropractic condition, which, by the way, is why we do a really, really detailed exam with everybody come, that, who comes in. If you are curious if your headaches are related to eye strain, this can be a common thing that happens. A lot of us are in a working environment. And so I wanna give you a couple tips today to figure out if indeed your headaches slash dizziness are indeed caused by eye strain. Uh, my first, uh, and I wanna give my good friend, Dr. Frazier Smith, some love on this. Uh, he introduced me to these really fancy glasses for computer screens. They uh, may not look that all that sexy, but, I don't know if you can see this, but these actually are tinted a little bit yellow. If you're on our computer screens, uh, there's this is probably not uh, new knowledge, but our computer screens give off blue light. This yellow, these are actually tinted to yellow, which is much, much, much easier on our eyes. These also have magnification. These are available on Amazon from any country, and they come in a magnification of 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1 and up. This is a 0.75 magnification, and what this does is takes pressure off the extraocular muscles of your eyes, and it actually brings my computer screen, when I do this, it actually brings it a little bit closer so my eyes don't have to work so hard uh, every moment of every day when I'm looking at the computer screen. So these uh, are 12 bucks on Amazon, free shipping to get your house in two days, highly, highly recommended. We had a couple people come in and uh, we were talking to them about their headaches and chiropractic would help for like a day, but they keep coming back and especially start coming back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And it's really, really clear that you've got eye strain if you're out playing on the weekends and you're in your office space on, during the week. Okay, so glasses, one. Number two, lighting. If it's really, really, really bright in your office, like those, those fluorescent lights that buzz that remind you of your like a sixth grade cafeteria, that actually can be over lighting your workspace and that can actually be, be creating eye strain also. So you wanna get a pretty good ratio and you just go ahead and Google, uh, just pull up in your Google browser, just ideal lighting. Um, and you, maybe you just wanna play with this for a little bit. Too dark's not so good, but really, really bright is probably uh, not so good also. Really nice weather outside right now and you wanna go and work outside, but that can actually, if you're outside for an extended period of time, that can also cause eye strain. Back to my glasses. Uh, one other thing, take breaks. Just actually get up and, and walk around. Uh, that takes the pressure off your extraocular muscles also. As I'm looking at my computer screen, there's something called the 20-20-20 rule. Look away from your computer screen every 20 minutes, that's the first 20. Gaze at a distant object at least 20 feet away and do that for 20 seconds. So that's the 20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Just gives your extraocular muscles just a little bit of break so that you can go back to doing your thing. Uh, another exercise is the 10-15 rule. Uh, Look far away at an object for 10 to 15 seconds, then gaze, set something up close for 10 to 15 seconds. Then look back at the distant object. Do that 10 times, and that's just a way to exercise and relax your, your extraocular muscles. Focus on hydration. One, like drink water. They actually are muscles in your eyes, and you actually have a bunch of fluid that's in your eyeballs. So being hydrated is one thing, and then blinking actually rehydrate your eyes also so your muscles don't have to work so hard. So blinking rehydrates. Um, and then the last thing is just focus on fatigue. Just we're all humans and we all have a certain amount of, of willpower throughout the course of a day. And so if you find yourself just like struggling through emotionally, mentally to get through the day, imagine how hard your eyes are working, especially if you're working at a computer screen for the good part of the day. Uh, if you are not sure if eye strain is going on and you just want to have a chat, just go ahead and send us an email or message us or go to our website, newleaf-chiropractic.com. There's a good chance that there's something going on and as, I, as I've got my computer screen here. If you're doing a whole bunch of this, this is not eye strain. If you're working on your computer like this, you're actually stretching the muscles in your neck, which is stretching the muscles at the, your atlas, and that can also be causing headaches, migraines, dizziness. So if you're doing a whole bunch of this, uh -uh, that's not eye strain. That's probably something that we call subluxation. That's something that we can help with, something that we can treat in our office. Um, but I think taking some proactive steps doesn't cost anything to do the 10-15 rule, the 20-20-20 rule, the hydration, water for the most part is free in this country, in most countries, thank God. Um, maybe you can't change your lighting, but that's where it's really cool to have these glasses which help to minimize some of that the, uh, the, that light pollution that can be present in your workplace.
I'm Dr. Jay Brightlow with New Leaf Chiropractic. Thanks for joining me today. Again, send us a message if you have any questions about headaches, neck pain, back pain, headaches, energy levels, sleeping, and how chiropractic can be a benefit to your life. Thanks, gang.